And everyone who works for the city of Richmond will have to be vaccinated against COVID-19 or face discipline. I'm Jake Burns and for Bill, that announcement from the mayor this afternoon. By October 1st, everyone working inside Richmond City Hall will be required to be fully vaccinated against COVID-19. We think it's necessary to keep our employees safe and also give confidence to the residents who are interacting with our employees on a regular basis. The vaccine mandate applies to the 3,600 city employees, like police officers or utility workers or city hall staff. Richmond employees must provide documentation of vaccination status by August 18th. It does not apply to Richmond school employees yet. Superintendent Jason Cameron writing to CBS 6, quote, to protect the health and safety of our students and staff, we are seriously considering this step as well. There is time between between now and what August 18th for folks to get vaccinated and we will find ways to support them and to ensure they get vaccinated so they can be safe not only as an employee but also as a member of our community. Mayor LeVar Stoney says only around 40 to 50 percent of city employees are vaccinated now. We asked what would happen if any employees refuse to get the vaccine. There will be HR uh, disciplinary action that will be taken for those who do not uh, comply. This move comes as Virginia health officials say the Delta variant accounts for 70 to 75% of COVID cases in the Commonwealth now. This Delta variant revs up the replication of the virus. The actual viral load that somebody carries when they're infected uh, is about a thousand times greater than the Alpha variant. Dr. Danny Avula says since vaccinated people can spread the Delta variant too, he's very concerned about rising cases and hospitalizations in Virginia. I think there is a, a way, a context for a return to in-person settings, uh, but I, I think it really has to be predicated on vaccination and then on behavior change. Stoney urging unvaccinated employees to start making plans to get their COVID shots. Again, they'll be asked to pro provide proof of a first dose a little more than two weeks from now. Fairfax County, the only other locality in Virginia to make this kind of move.